I've been running my own business since 2006, and I've actually been creating content here on YouTube since 2009. January 1st, 2009. Flex Beach. For Go Lala. Look at this. This is the miracle. Stop resisting. <laughs> You're fouling me. That's a foul. And while I feel like I've learned a ton over the years as it comes to running businesses, creating content, I still fall into comparison traps probably much like you do. And the one comparison trap that I've been really thinking about a lot lately is creating YouTube videos. So very meta here, and just something I can't shake thinking about, so I wanted to record a video about. Ah, I'm in a glass case of emotion! There are just so many talented creators here on YouTube. There are so many talented creators out in the world now. And I'm just trying to figure out where do we fit in? Where does our Wandering Aimfully channel fit and how do we stand out from everybody else? Oh, and if you're new around here, I'm Jason Zook. Normally my wife, Caroline Zook is here. We run a business called Wandering Aimfully. It's a membership community that helps creative business owners transition from working with clients to selling digital products. And that is a hashtag shameless plug, which is a bit that John Oliver does on his show. Cool. God, it's so hard to find your own unique bits. <laughs> unique bits. That's funny to say, unique bits. Anywho, when I think about the people that I follow here on YouTube, their videos and their content, it feels so polished. It feels so perfectly unique to them. And I just feel like I don't have that. Folks like Matt Diavella, Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon, Eamon and Beck. I look up to all of these people and I watch and love their videos. I watch content from these creators and all I can think about is the camera I own isn't good enough. The B-roll I can film won't look as awesome. My storytelling skills pale in comparison. We'll never have as many subscribers on our channel and my bicep just can't measure up to Matt Diavella's. But I am taller than Matt Diavella, so that should count for something. I know it doesn't matter. Jason, stop comparing yourself. But this video is my enough moment when it comes to comparison traps. I want to put it out there and I want to say more to myself, but also to you watching this, that enough is enough. I need to find my own style, I need to find my own way of creating content, and I need to just own it and then keep doing it consistently. So this is my declaration for our YouTube channel. This is me putting it out there and maybe it's you getting a permission slip for yourself to just create in a way that feels natural and real to you. Thanks, Rob Schneider. I know not everyone loves you, but I do. In business, my wife and I always give the advice that you can't compare your starting line to someone else's finish line, or even just someone else's journey that they're on, because there are so many different factors that you can't control. And creating videos here on YouTube, it needs to be looked at the same way, and I need to look at it the same way. So where we are right now, even though I've been making videos since 2009, and I have made a lot of them, it's okay, I'm basically starting over and I should just give myself permission that that's all right, I can experiment, I can try different things, I can just do things the way that I can do them and I don't have to compare myself to everyone else. Because I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. We, that's you and me, shouldn't strive to create like the people we admire. We should find our own unique way of telling stories, sharing content, and just making things that bring us joy. So for us and for our videos, I am avoiding comparison traps by establishing a couple rules that we can stick to as we create videos here on YouTube. I'm not gonna worry about trying to have great B-roll footage in our videos. We're not gonna create vlog style videos even though they get a lot more attention. I am going to add small motion graphics and GIFs throughout these videos. It's GIF, not GIF deal with it. I am going to lean on my weird humor and silliness because it comes naturally to me. We are going to create from a place of joy and not try to keep up with anyone else. Like me, maybe you've thought all of these things before. They've run around in your head over and over again, but maybe it's time to actually put them out into the world. Maybe to film a video like this, maybe just to write them down and set them next to your computer, but establish your own rules for creation, establish the things that make you unique, and then just run with those things and embrace them. All right, I think that'll do for this video. That'll do, Pig. That'll do. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit subscribe. I don't think I have to tell you that, but I feel like if I don't tell you that, you won't think about doing it. And if you don't think about doing it, then you'll think about other things. You think about how you're hungry and then you want to get a sandwich and then you want to, should I get Cheetos or should I get chips? Cheetos, you know, it's just terrible for me, but God, they're so delicious. Anyway, see, we're already sidetracked here. You should be subscribing, not thinking about Cheetos. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you. We'll see you around the channel and that's it. God, YouTube video endings are just so difficult.
Or you could just start an ASMR channel where you just zip things. Ah, oh, it's so satisfying. Ah. It's getting weird yet? Yeah, it got weird.